All right. Well, today we are working on the 3500, the fifth gen. It is a 2020 and I need to change the fuel filters on it. And it's uh, something I want to change regardless every eight to 10,000 miles. I did the first oil change at 6,500 miles. Uh, I should have changed the fuel filters at the same time, but uh, I don't know how the heck I managed to forget that, but we're doing them now. And I am sitting at 10,500 miles. And uh, so I'm just gonna do a quick video on how to change those in case you guys are curious. I know there's probably a few more videos out there, but this is how I do it, so enjoy. So to start off with, of course, you're gonna need your fuel filters. Uh, 28 millimeter socket and extension for you never know and uh, 8 millimeter and I got this little siphon tube here and your wrench so I'm just gonna butt in here real quick the 28 millimeter socket is for the front and rear fuel filters on this truck you will need a longer extension I used a, a 11 to 12 inch extension for the front fuel filter you will see that here shortly so let's get back to the video and of course get yourself a catch bucket and that right there is going to be your rear fuel filter. That little pet cock valve right there so you can drain out what's in there already so not everything is spilling on your drive line right here. Your 8 millimeter, you can use it right here to open this up. And then uh, your 28 goes right on there. Yeah, it's kind of making it for the most part. Get ready for another splash now. It's kind of inevitable, inevitable to make a mess. And there it is. There you go. Old versus new. Yeah, it's dirty, but it's not that bad. I've seen a few of them that come out that are black. Just bad, bad. This way, so you guys can see. I don't want to touch my GoPro. It's all diesel -y. Gonna squeeze the sides, take that O-ring, take that off. That's trash. Nope. Not my GoPro though. Grab your new O-ring. Just doing it this way so you guys can see. If you already got these on your hands, that's good. You don't want to put this O-ring in dry. That's how you can get them split or they're gonna tear or something like that. So nice and easily helps it out. Got to make sure it gets all around in there. Take the new fill filter. These do only go in one way, as you would imagine. So you got that part right there. That's just going to pop right into this cap here, just like that. You can hear that click. Then make sure this is, uh, I guess, perpendicular with the truck or parallel with the truck, excuse me. So that is going to go just like that with the truck, not like this. It's going to go like that. It's going to pop in again. And it's just going to fit right up under there. Right there. That's it. That is all that needs to be done. So rear one is done. Let's get to the front. So we're gonna get that cartridge off there and uh, get that one replaced too. Let me get my wrench. And yeah, I put a pan down below because that's gonna spill some diesel too. Okay. 
clip too. It'll work its way out, usually. There it goes. trying to be way too careful with it. Man, that thing is almost perfectly clean still. Get that thing back down on there. Make sure you set that thing all the way down where, where you got it from. You don't want the threads to cut that o-ring. That would suck. Let's set down all the way. My truck's been sitting for over 24 hours, so it's probably not as much diesel spilling as if you guys were to do it, if you just parked it or something like that. Can go down nice and slow, which I don't pop a bunch of diesel out. <laughs> all right, make sure she sits in all the way. That's it. All right, and that is pretty much it for that process. And uh, I, mean, I still have my trailer connected. You can do this just about anywhere. So that's all good. And uh, now I'm just gonna show you guys how to prime the system real quick and we'll be good to go. We're just gonna turn the ignition on. You're gonna hit the switch twice. shut this door and typically you want to do that two or three times I can't even really hear the fuel pump on this truck it's not like uh, having a air dog or a fast system and usually I believe these are self priming systems anyways do it one more time I know it's probably not good to have that preheating going on every single time, but we'll wait for that to stop and then we'll go ahead and try to start the truck. Roll down this window, it's hot in here. You can see that, 10,400 miles. Put the foot on the brake and it's going to take a little bit longer to crank, but she should start right up. Well, started right up like she always does. And that is it for that. And uh, we're going to go into the gauge here. We're going to be using these switches right here. We're going to roll through the menu here till we get to our fuel filter life, 25%. And just like that arrow says, press and hold the right arrow key to reset. We're going to push and hold that, confirm, scroll up. Yes, please. Boom, 99%. So that's pretty much it. It's super easy. That took me maybe 30 minutes with messing around with the camera also uh, so go out and change your fuel filters it uh, definitely helps you out quite a bit uh, you don't want to have a clogged fuel filter system then you're just going to lose power and suck up more trash and probably run out an injector with stuff like that so change them it's super easy just like changing oil on a truck like this uh, hopefully if this was uh, informative enough please let me know i'm going to go ch double check make sure there's no fuel leaking i guess so good over here nice and clean a little bit of residual but that's fine i don't see any droplets or anything like that that's it i'm gonna wrap it up yeah always double check your engine so you don't leave no tools over there or gopro 
thank you guys for watching i appreciate it hopefully this helped you out do your fuel filters on your truck again this is for the 2019 plus trucks uh, i guess to 2021 unless they change something for the next year uh, this truck is a 2020 ram 3500 with the isn so if you have a truck with the 68 rfe you won't have that dipstick in your way so it might be a little bit easier on you but still very simple very easy process uh, if you have any questions comment down below if you like it like the video uh, please subscribe I'm trying to boost up my numbers here slowly slowly but surely hopefully the hard work pays off again thank you guys have a good one